A man arrested for carrying an automatic weapon in the French Quarter, who was then released after the charges were refused, now faces federal charges. As David Jones reports, a local crime watchdog group says it was the one who got feds involved. An indictment by a grand jury charging Keaton Mungavi, a Tennessee resident, for the illegal carrying of a weapon. Just confirmation of the impropriety of what the head of the Civil Rights Division did in magistrate court on Mardi Gras day. Mungavi was arrested by NOPD early Mardi Gras morning. Police say he was in the French Quarter carrying a handgun equipped with a Glock switch, making it fully automatic. But by lunchtime, Mungavi was a free man after his charges, along with those of more than a dozen others, were refused by Emily Ma, the head of the Civil Rights Division in the office of Orleans District Attorney Jason Williams. Ma told Mungavi in court, as long as you're okay going back without the machine gun, then we'll refuse the charges. Mungavi replied, yes ma'am, I appreciate you. Obviously, that was not the views of the U.S. Attorney's Office and the federal grand jury that indicted him. Rafael Goyeneche, president of the Metropolitan Crime Commission, says the commission reached out to the feds to investigate and provided evidence. It didn't take 30 days for the feds to review the facts that we provided, the Crime Commission provided to them, and they indicted uh, the, the Keaton Mangavi on March the 28th. She said she didn't have evidence. Well, she didn't wait for the report to read it or talk to the policeman to get the evidence before she cut him loose. Grossly inappropriate behavior by the assistant DA handling these cases. At last check, Maul remains employed with the DA's office. Goinecci is calling for a complete review of the work the Civil Rights Division has done under Maul. If she didn't tell her boss, the DA, what she was going to do in magistrate court on Mardi Gras Day or follow procedures on Mardi Gras Day, what makes anybody think that she has told him what she's done in the Civil Rights Division or follow procedures there? Reached out for the to the district attorney's office for comments, but we did not hear back.